Well, welcome back to AMSO Motor Speedway here in Superior, Wisconsin. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. I'm Sarah Wheeler, joined alongside Chad Lyons. Beautiful night of racing here as we look at heat number one of the Midwest Modifies and this feature sandwich, we're calling it tonight. <laughs> Row number one in the car 68K, Dan Kingsley, who had one heck of a feature already tonight, uh, finished second earlier, followed next to him, the 37X of Skeeter Esty. In row number two, the 52 of Jeremy Lindquist from Ashland, Wisconsin. At his door, the 45 of Lance Solom out of Duluth. In the third row, the 69 of Justin Bassett from Hermantown. And next to him, the 51 of Dale Samla Jr. from Hermantown. In the fourth row, the 31 of Norm Anderson Jr. out of Duluth. Alongside the 32T of George Truscott from Greenland, Michigan. And there's the green flag, eight laps in all for this Midwest modified Prelim, the first one of three here tonight. Excuse me, second, yeah, first one of three, yeah. Out in front, the 68K there of Dan Kingsley. We've already seen Dan Kingsley have a really strong run in a feature this evening as he enters his first prelim race. Sounds a little backwards. That's because it is. <laughs> Skeeter <laughs> Esty in the second spot and Lance Sullivan in the third as these guys go by. Seven laps and sixes, they pass us. Up in the press box tonight, uh, kind of middle of the track. Great seats for awesome racing action. It's already been an action-packed evening, so thank you for, for staying with us. Kingsley still out in front there, but Essie trying to challenge him. Lance Holt in the third spot, followed by the 69 there of Justin Bassa and then in the 32 of George Truscott, but not so fast, folks. Andrew Inman around in turn number four. Well, kind of between turns three and four. Looks like he probably got involved with the 50 car. And if I'm not or mistaken, it was Inman earlier 50. tonight in the feature uh, that had problems as well. Yeah, he went around a couple times already. Uh, looks like that time it might have been due to a little... Uh, friction between him and the 52 of Jeremy Linquist from Ashland. You see the damage on that 52 car. He's all sorts of broke up. Kind of a bummer too because it looked like Kingsley and Esty were just about to really go at it as they were side by side down the backstretch when the yellow flag came out. Contact made with those open wheels up front between Andrew and the 52. Then it looks like he just kind of got caught on those tires uh, below. Down on the apron. Down on the apron, yeah. That'll do some damage. Yeah, this front end's pretty tore up. <laughs> Gonna need an alignment. Not the only one uh, with some problems. Looks like Dale Sumlin Jr. on the hooks as well, and he'll head to the pits. Must have had some mechanical failure. We didn't see him go out. Eight cars now uh, left in the first heat of the Midwest Modified. Kingsley out in front. Uh, Lance Solom, though, with a chance to do some damage here. I think this is his third race uh, this summer. And a new car for him, so we'll see if he can keep up with the likes of Kingsley and Esty, who have uh, done well all summer long. Pretty heavy hitters. Let's not forget about the 29G of Jake Gondick. Currently towards the back of the field, he won the feature that we ran earlier here this evening. Wouldn't be surprised if we saw him up more towards the front through this prelim. As we take the green flag with six laps to go on this heat number one of the Midwest Modified Seward Amzo Motor Speedway. And Kingsley wasting no time putting the pedal to the metal there as he's out in front. Oh! Jake Ondick around between turns three and four. Looks like he came just down too low. Caught those down at the bottom of the apron, hooked up under his front suspension, and around he went. 
the good news, uh, nobody hit him, though, when he turned around like that. It looked like it was kind of a clean turn, at least, because uh, that's not a position you want to be sideways with somebody no. coming at you. No. If that would have happened during the feature, there would have been a pretty major pileup, I'm sure. Looked like he just pivoted on that left front tire when he hooked down low. Just trying to work that low line. Bounces off those tires and around he goes. Tough break for the 29G. He's trying to get every inch they can. Uh, <laughs> such a fine line between hitting those or hitting Hit, the right line. Yep, hitting your marks or hitting the ditch, basically. <laughs> a couple of different trucks out here as they take a look, try to figure out uh, what's going to happen with Gondik there. As you mentioned, I already won a feature tonight, so certainly if this is it for him, still a good night of racing. Yeah, probably a little melancholy. I'm sure if he tore up anything on the racetrack, on, the, on his race car, rather, he wouldn't be too happy about that because there goes your your purse from your feature win earlier. All your but. winnings, you'll know where they're going <laughs> that way, huh? As we wait now, we'll take a look at the Midwest Modified standings as they get things cleaned up here on the caution flag. But out in front, uh, Skeeter Esty, no surprise there. He's uh, just had one heck of a summer here at Amsoil Speedway, followed by his brother, Mac, just three points back. And then Devin Van House in the third spot. Dan Kingsley, Jake Gondick, and Gondick, of course, will move up after tonight's win earlier, uh, followed by the sixth spot, Cody Carlson, Tyler Luger, Andrew Inman, David Simpson, and Chris Bredding. All those standings gonna be shuffled after the results are in from this evening's earlier feature. And then they'll be changed again after this evening's later feature. Yeah, Mac who was in second, uh, he went out earlier in that, so he doesn't he didn't get any points tonight. And of course, as we said, Gondik did win, and so the, you gotta think that'll catapult him towards the top after a couple of features here tonight. Now just six cars remain here in heat number one of the Midwest Modifieds as we take the green, and that means go. With six laps remaining, five now as they go by us, uh, five laps on this uh, prelim uh, number one of the Midwest Modified. As we continue the duel up front, the 68K of Dan Kingsley and that 37 of Skeeter Esty. It was just about to unfold before we went under caution. Let's see what happens as they are battling door to door down the front stretch with four to go. Kingsley trying to sit on that low line. Skeeter making that high line work for him as he gets a little more speed. These guys still pretty well together. I mean, still bunched up. And that caution play will do that, of course. It's SC out in front, followed by Kingsley. And then Lance home in the third spot with just three laps to go as they now get spread out, of course, after I say that. And the lights start to turn on here at Amzo Motor Speedway. Two laps now, two laps. Skeeter SD building his lead. Dan Kingsley in second. Lance Salt in third spot. Skeeter SD way out front of Dan Kingsley right now. Not totally surprising, but there's still a lot of racing left once they get to the feature. Skeeter takes the white flag that time by. Just has to mind his marks, not lose the track. And he's gonna take this preliminary heat. And Skeeter making us look good after he showed the standings there and then took the checkered flag in the prelim. He's up top of those standings, at least for now, uh, for a reason as he takes the checkered flag. Dan Kingsley in the second spot, Lance Solom in the third spot. And those are all the guys that we should keep an eye on later tonight in the feature. In the, the second the feature of the night, the Midwest Modifieds. Again, Skeeter Esty, the winner of the first heat of Midwest Modified, will heat number two coming up next.